In this example, we'll go through the steps you would use for a typical stoichiometry problem. Here's the problem. Given the balanced equation, 2Cl207 liquid gives 2Cl2 gas plus 7O2 gas. Assuming this reaction goes to completion, what volume of oxygen gas can be produced at STP by decomposing 650 grams of Cl207? We analyze the problem for what's given and what we're asked for. We see that we're given the grams of Cl207 decomposed, and we're asked for the volume of O2 gas produced. The volume of a gas can be measured in liters. So we write a plan of our steps. We start with grams of Cl207, which we're given. Since we're given a quantity of Cl207 and asked for a quantity of O2, we are moving from one substance to another. Whenever we do that, we need to convert the given quantity to moles. So our first step is to convert grams of Cl207 to moles of Cl207. Next, we find the moles of the substance asked for. Moles of one substance to moles of another is sometimes called the mole bridge. The substance asked for is O2, so in step 2, or the mole bridge, we convert moles of Cl207 to moles of O2. Because we're asked for the volume of O2 gas, in step 3, we convert moles of O2 to liters of O2 at STP. So now we have a complete plan, which we'll write at the bottom grams to moles to moles to liters. We use conversion factors to carry out the plan. We start by writing 650 grams of Cl207. The first step is to convert grams of Cl207 to moles of Cl207. So we write a conversion factor with grams of Cl207 on the bottom so this unit can be cancelled. And moles of Cl207 on top because that's what we want to find in this step. We add a 1 by the mole and the molar mass of Cl207, 182.90, is written by the grams. If you like, you can pause the video and calculate the molar mass yourself to see if you come up with the same value. In step 2, we convert moles of Cl207 to moles of O2. So we write a conversion factor with moles of Cl207 on the bottom so this unit can be cancelled. We write moles of what we want, O2, on the top. Now we use coefficients in the balanced equation for the mole ratio. A 7 goes by the O2 and a 2 goes by the Cl207. In step 3, we convert moles of O2 to liters of O2 at STP. So we write a conversion factor with moles of O2 on the bottom so we can cancel this unit and liters of O2 on the top because that's what we want. We write a 1 by the mole and the molar volume at STP 22.4 by the liters. We cancel out the grams of Cl207, the moles of Cl207, and the moles of O2. The unit we're left with is liters of O2, which is what we want to find in this problem. So we can write that here as the unit for our answer. Using a calculator, we go 650 divided by 182.9 times 7 divided by 2 times 22.4 and the answer, rounded to three significant figures, comes out to 279. Notice the 22.4 liters restricts us to three significant figures. So we can now state the answer as decomposing 650 grams of Cl207 will produce a volume of 279 liters of O2 at standard temperature and pressure. 